morning, folks. Good morning. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Then when we do, we call in the biz. The throat clear. <clears throat> it's a glorious evening. It's not evening, it's morning. And I'm still... Excuse me, I'm still reveling from our vacation. Still, my cycle, the sleep cycle is all messed up. And the funny thing is, I wasn't going to bed late. I was actually going to bed early every day. But now I find myself at like 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm like, I better force myself to sleep somewhere. Ah, but that's it. Uh, last night, we uh, we watched uh, Kurt Cobain's uh, memo of, was it Memoirs of Heck or Memories of Heck on HBO. It was basically a documentary. Um, and I don't watch, how can I say this? I don't have too much time to really have an interest in watching a lot of documentaries like beforehand. It's one of those things I have to like run upon by accident or it happens to be on demand and I'll watch it. Um, but this one I read in the pa I was reading in the paper and that's how I found out about it. It got all raving reviews, four stars, and blah, 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 too long over rant already. But uh, yeah, we watched it last night because I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Kurt Cobain as an artist. Personal life, uh, not so much, but I never knew really why because I never really took an interest in learning about him like that, just knowing his music. But it's just, it's just a sad story, it really is. And people don't understand the emotional aspect of growing up, and living, and some people may be stronger on the exterior, but some people really are not, they're more sensitive to the things around them. Oh, and how all of, the, all of this could have been prevented. Everything, all of the the non-sensory and the, the, the uh, so sad, so sad. And then I don't want to give my despicable opinion or whatever, how you ever want to describe it. Poor Courtney. Poor Courtney. Why am I saying poor Courtney, love? I think, I... She's the reason he died. Sucks, man. When you love someone, like you love someone, you feel accepted and you feel at whole. And then that person, you, you start separating soulfully and spiritually. Your life is just destroyed, especially when you've been longing for that feeling for so long, and then it's there, and then it's gone. Such a sad one. But if you haven't had, if you haven't had a chance to find it or catch up or watch it or whatever it may be the word that I'm looking for and you do enjoy the, the musical career of how genius Kurt Cobain was definitely worth looking for and definitely watch it's long it's like two and a half hours but it's worth it um, opens, it's an eye opener it's an eye opener <sighs> till health is real and uh, his bandmates even said it they years later just looking back at the way he acted and the way the songs he wrote they see that it could have been, it, I mean, they do see the signs. Uh, he openly admitted killing himself. Like, he openly admitted it. Like, he wanted to kill himself numerous times. So, they just don't take people seriously. And that's no joke. Mental health is no joke. So, if you or someone you know, you just find yourself in these depressive ways. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to to uh, some of those around you sometimes. If, I mean, it's, for you, it's not fair that you have to feel that way, feel neglected, feel at, at, uneasy, feel, whatever it is that makes you feel depressed, it's not fair. And there is a cure out there for it, it is happiness. But sometimes it's hard for you to find happiness or accept happiness. But I hope all of our viewers here, all of our amigos, I hope if you are suffering with depression, that you at some point may feel comfortable in in just letting us make you laugh or make you smile because we do love you we love all of our people even the people that thumbs down us every day we do love you too there's no there's not enough room in, the, in our world for hatred um, as much as we are imperfect we are perfect in accepting people so on that note folks thank you very much as always for being here for us if ever we can be there for you, make sure you try your best 
to reach out to us because we will do our best to make you happy and make you smile and make you feel accepted. Ah, uh, folks. Oh, like I was saying, sorry, before I end this, if you or someone you know is suffering from some kind of depression or they have those signs, do, do help them. Um, some people may not want the help, but if you can indirectly get them help or make them feel better, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Every life matters. It makes no sense for anyone to live an unhappy life because life is just a grand place where we could all be feeling accepted. I'm not even. Bye, guy. All right, folks. Thank you very much. As always, remember to stay positive, keep progressing, keep pushing forward. Uh, today's a great opportunity to just let's just talk about mental health, to be okay. It's okay to be okay. It really is. Uh, don't don't wallow in your sorrows. Find something so simple, if it is simple, in today to just smile about, to ha to laugh about, to to just. Enjoy. So, with that being said, common question of the day is what makes you happy? What makes you happy? That's all I want to know. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? Serenity and music. Because music takes me to this tranquil place. It's like nothing else matters when I have music in my ears. Folks, we love you. Thank you very much. As always, Betsy. Enjoy my friends and treat them like your friends as well. Bye bye. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And a little. Let's let's let. So yes, today starts the smoothie diet. So if you read the article yesterday that I wrote about, I wrote a blog post about it. I think it was last year. So the first five days is absolutely no food. It's just all smoothies. Then phase two, which is the next five days, it's you substitute one smoothie for one meal, like a salad or soup and stuff like that. Then the next five days after that, it's, you know, it goes on and on and on. But I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm actually not, yesterday I wanted to eat candy and muffins and i did it i had control and muffin. a candy and muffin yeah it's not good for you and i did it. i controlled myself and i didn't eat anything i am determined to get back in shape so i mean it's not that much weight that i have to lose i initially like i would like to lose if i say 10 pounds i would think i'm crazy but i really want to lose 10 pounds We'll see. How is everyone else doing? Diana, stop. You're being rude. And what happens when someone's rude? They're not a good pe they're not coffee. Good people. Mommy's talking. Coffee. Diana. Coffee. Gotta get this under control coffee. now because she coffee. was <coughs> she was miserable, terrible in Disney. Yeah. Yeah, she did not yeah, listen at yeah, all. Yeah, so now yeah, we're like yeah, straight military yeah, in this house. Yeah, if yeah. I say come here, I expect you to come here. Like before, I'd be like, oh, forget it. No. You guys have, if you have kids, or you're going to have kids in the future, you need to be so consistent. And I kind of thought we were consistent. But looking back at that Disney trip, we were not. So now it's like for everything. We're like, come here and come here now. We take things away, like for sure now. And. So yeah, any other parenting tips you guys have for me, please let me know. I want to know how military parents um, parent because I know they're very stern. I'm not sure about strict, but I know they're very stern. Like we met this boy on the bus and he was, we're like, he's so well behaved. 
I told his father, and he's walking away, and his backpack says U U USMC Marine Corps. Uh, and boy, so I was like, that's why he's a good boy. And I was trying to look online how how um, military parents bus, parent, and I couldn't find bus, anything. So let me know in the comment boy below. Bus. You remember the recuerdas? Yeah, boy. Bus. He was so nice, right? Yeah. He was playing with her. He was so so cute. Oh. I should have told him about my channel. <laughs> this is such a snore fest. Sorry, ABC Mouse, I love you, but it's a snore fest. The baby has a ball. Say it. Baby has a ball. <laughs> so now it's time to make my lunch smoothie. And we got blueberries, got some raspberries, whatever, whatever. So yesterday we had Dove um, blueberry chocolate. So good. I have a video up. It'll be up next week. So she sees the blueberries. She's like, I want chocolate. So I just mix them up, blueberries with yogurt. Hopefully she likes it. Rum, rum, rum. Yummy? Are you confused? <laughs> you don't know what to say. <laughs> what is that face? It's they're frozen blueberries. I don't know how to un oh I could have unfrozen them. It's still good though, it's not that hard. Yummy? So not touch. Ready? Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky to have a baby who loves to eat everything. <laughs> It's okay? No, eat the food. <laughs> flax seeds. Oh, I'm excited. I used to take the flax seed pills, like you guys know, flax seed oil pills, which is really good for your digestive system. It helps you poop. Think, right? It's fiber. It's in digestion, supports healthy cholesterol, strengthens the immune system, supports healthy joints. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, Dalla Dalla Bills. I made it rain on nobody. <laughs> so upset. My child, the one that you love, the one that we call Buddha Belly, Z, Nana, Moose. I don't know what other nicknames we give her. But she peed on a freaking bed. I was so ticked off. So ticked off. So now I have to get, and it's not only, like, it seeped through. So all of that. I have to go downstairs, she's taking it out now. So I have to go downstairs and wash it now. I was so mad. Doesn't she look so peaceful when she sleeps? It's like, oh, you're so cute. Why are you so nasty? And then all these underwears I have to clean. She, oh my god. This kid peed so much yesterday and today. You know, it's insane. Insane. And I don't know why. She did so good in Disney. We had the pull-ups. But every time she went to the bathroom, 95% of the time, there was no leakage. So I'm like, as soon as we got here, she just started going crazy. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let me know. Why? Let me know why she's doing this to me. <laughs> okay. Dramatic moment over. He won't hear or see you there, Z. <laughs> it's boy toy. Boy toys in the house. Boy toys, boy toys. Can I get a little rat? You see the same song every day. It's your anthem. Change this channel. You didn't scare me, Georgia shirts. Georgia shirts. Babe. What? Dinner tastes delicious. It smells phenomenal. Tastes delicious. It sounds like the best. It smells. Oh, I think I have a that? master chef what in my house. Who, who's here cooking? You weren't cooking. What it was I. Bag? What's in the bag? Nothing's in the bag. Oh, I was about to say. It goes my dive. There's what's in the bag. Oh, um, you found my ID? Yeah. Where was it? Where was his ID? Hmm. Let's see. Well, all of this crap that's his was scattered all around. All around, right? So that, I'm cleaning everything up. And I'm like, oh, there it is. So please clean up. Your mess. Job. Hey, no! You're my house sleeve. That's it. Um. Why are you wearing leather pants in my house? 
Where are my leather pants? I wish I had beans. I really am in the mood for pink beans. You can't. You're on a diet. There's a blue on there. What for you? Well, I'm doing laundry. Why don't you check the, the bedroom? Not See what's missing. A bed? Huh? You go buy a new mattress? Come on. Come on, darling. One. Yeah. Why? Why are we missing sheets? You peed the bed. <laughs> your daughter peed on the bed. So you peed the bed. You're blaming on my daughter. Basically. Figured as much. <laughs> They're so mad. Why are you mad? She peed all over. She peed. She's uh oh. There's the culprit. Who peed on the bed, mommy or you? Uh, I peed on bed. You peed on my bed. Why? Are you still a baby? No, oh, I'm not pee a bed. You peed my bed. No, I'm not pee a bed. Oh, so you didn't. Mommy peed on my bed. Oh, Who peed on my bed? Uh, I peed a bed. You peed on that bed? Then who peed on this bed? Uh, I'm not pee a bed. I'm not pee a bed. I pee a bed. You. Okay, but who peed on this bed? I'm not peeing on bed, Tim. Okay, if you it's didn't, who, then who did? Did mommy pee on my bed? No, I pee on bed. Okay, but this bed, oh, who gosh. peed on this bed? Uh, mommy pee on bed. Oh. 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 You little liar. So mommy peed that bed and you peed this bed. You guys peed the bed together? Yeah. Truth comes out. It comes out. That's why I'm an investigator. Truth <laughs> goes. You're like the police asking the same question a thousand times. It's just bound to be changed. The answer is bound to be changed. She said she peed in that bed. Her chair story didn't change. <laughs> Buddha. She was just trying to protect you because you peed that bed and she didn't want to tell on you, but she's like, I'm done. I'm done. Buddha, go on time out. Why? For being a liar. No. She's guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> You're guilty because you got a running track record. You're peeing in my bed. <laughs> what? What's this? What? It's a big glove of food. <laughs> I'll make sure you're well fed. That's overly done. I'm gonna throw half of it away. That's okay. I just, I just talking about when it's only you and her. I have to make like three, qu three quarters of rice. Mira. Charlize is gonna call you. She was FaceTiming with her cousins and she hung up and now she's bugging out. Charlize, te va a llamar, okay? Just wait, okay? You wanna talk to Lise? Yeah. Okay. Eva, te va a llamar. You have to wait, okay? Tienes que esperar. Okay, mommy? She's alone. Babe! Why don't you sit down? We'll have dinner together. No. I worked with you. This smoothie, you want to try it? Nope. I hate the green smoothie. I kind of don't want to do the smoothie diet anymore. You just spend hundreds of dollars on green fruit, yeah. you better commit to it for the next three months. Three months? Isn't that how long it is? No. They, she's going in town, into town with it. Well, she's not the one on the diet, so stop her. What are you talking about? You're cheating yourself. But she likes it. How can I deny my child such deliciousness? Oh my gosh. She wants you going in again. She's good. You like that? <laughs> okay, no más, no más. I'm cheating myself. I'm cheating myself. Oh, babe! Tell them how nice it was last night. <laughs> we went to bed together and we fell asleep. Unintentionally. Ew, what do you mean? Do we? Yeah. He's a cuddler. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm not a cuddler, he is. But last night we went to sleep together. Just hugging, uh, hugging your back and start scratching his chest. Stop. You know how fast I go to sleep? I don't know. Really fast. But wasn't it nice? Oh, you gave her vitamin. Didn't you like it? 
so lo lovely. I got tired. Did he, t did he talk about the Nirvana thing this morning? Did you? We're, we're all watching that. I got so exhausted from that. I was like, I'm going to bed. I couldn't even watch any more any shows after that. It was interesting, but it was <sighs> another snooze fest. <laughs> so, about the snooze fest too. <laughs> so how long did you talk this morning? Like 14 minutes. I'll murder you. Oh, I'm hoping to vlog tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so what do you think of the food? What do you think? 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 The rice has no salt. Not at all. It tastes I totally forgot. <laughs> Taste the chicken. Taste the chicken. Chicken's good, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what's on it, Chef. Chef Boy Curry. Toy. Powder. Um. You read my Twitter. That's how you know it's curry powder. No, I don't. He read my Twitter. That's it's why. It's not yellowish in, in it. No, it could be a. It could be sazon. Not yellow. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not done. Ah. I got my. Did you eat tonight? <laughs> what, what else? Oh. I got some curry. I put some ground mustard, some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper. Babe, I went in there with no clue what I was gonna put. I just started putting things on there. But it came out good. Yeah, oh, good. lime? No. Oh, um, vegetable broth. A cube, half a cube of vegetable broth. Water, avocado oil, and garlic. Why'd you OD on flavors? I don't know what I was making, but I'm like, dang, I made it so good and I can't even eat. Thank you. Huh? You did eat. No, I didn't. I ate two pieces. I had to make sure it was well cooked. You cheated your diet. No. You did. I had to make sure it was well cooked. You cheated your diet. No. Good job. <laughs> Why did you hit me? Bad mama? Oh, you're not proud of me? Huh. Oh. Yeah, I see Belle. I see Christian. I see, I get bees. You saw bees? Yeah. Hey, babe. Let me throw this off for you. I'm not done. Are you sure? Yeah. Babe. What? I'm struggling with this diet already. I'm struggling with my stomach. The poopy medicine didn't work. Uh oh. You guys, I think I'm gonna alter this smoothie diet. You're not supposed to. And not really, I'm gonna eat, but I think I'll eat more of the stuff that I bought. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a spinach salad. No. Why? So you're supposed to be drinking your food. Babe, I hate you. Why do you do this to me? This is not your diet. This is my diet. You sign up for it. Don't quit. But I can't. I'm hungry. Okay. And? It was so easy last time. And it's still easy. It's just like... Suck it up. Figure it And Actually, yeah. No pun intended. Suck it up. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so gross. Oh gosh. Oh, there we go. There's another one. I can't wait till Saturday. What's well, Saturday? Yeah, or no Sunday, I think. It's been a week. You have to do it for a week. Didn't no, you? five days, uh, nothing. And then I substitute food, one of the smoothies for food. And then beef. Mm. Pie of pizza. Mm. So you gotta yeah, prep your food for Saturday then. Why? Saturday. Mother's Day? Sunday is Mother's Day. Saturday? Sunday? Sunday is Mother's Day. You sure? Yeah. It's always on a Sunday. When is Mother's Day on a Saturday? 
Oh yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna. My diet's going. We're not over there. Well, not. Yeah, it is. Why are you doing it now? Cause I totally forgot about it. No matter. You have to commit. I hate him. How many times have I had missed out on a great opportunity to eat? Well, what do we do? For a wedding, not because you had to. He wanted to enter a food competition. He's comparing that to. Oh, I had to give that up. No. I'm eating Sunday. It's Monday. It's my day. Diets. Holidays do not count in diets. Not even a holiday. It's month is day. Should, no. It's one of the greatest uh, holidays ever. No. He didn't give me that look on Sunday when I keep eating hot dogs and hamburgers and chickens. Yep. Oh well. Too bad. I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead. So, mis amigos. We're gonna call it a night. Call it a night by giving me orange juice, please. Te amo. Te adoro. Oh, I would like a, a glass of orange juice, too. Good idea. Can not have you? I'll drink it for you. <laughs> do you want to give a little brain? No. I'm sure you didn't do a brain. I did. Turn around, back around, get out of my face. Give it a little. So, buenas noches, mis amigos. Oh, and make sure to check out the blog post. Mañana. No, Walt Disney no. Wednesday. No. A lot of, of, what is it? What? Mm -hmm. Of... Our experiences there now that we've been there and pictures hopefully we'll see so when no. has no chest hair kiss beard kiss oh chest hair kiss mm. <laughs> ah. mm. you kiss mm. hello kissy poo mm. ah.